We interrupt our regularly scheduled seat install program to bring you flashing news. Is it flashing or flash news or a news flash? I forget. Doesn't matter. Always check the paperwork before you buy something. I'm usually pretty good about that, but this time, meh. Bought from someone I knew. Didn't think much of it. Yeah, well, guess who got the... Yeah, okay, so I was under the impression, this guy that I bought the Ninja from, the 300, I was under the impression that I was like the third owner. Well, I wasn't. Apparently, these guys passed it off and traded it around and, and did whatever with it. And I'm only making this video because I'm frustrated and I'm trying to get the point across to somebody else to save someone like me the headache if you should ever decide to unload your bike people there is a reason the state the great commonwealth of texas oh yeah <laughs> we're not really a state anyway um there's a reason that they tell you you have 30 freaking days to do your title otherwise it turns into a total mess these guys bought the bike from somebody and passed it to somebody and then he passed it to him and then they co-owned it and then they passed it over to him and it just became, ha, ah, so look, that's what I get out of it. That's what I get out of it, a bonded title because it looks fraudulent to the state now. So we pay 29 for this so I can stay on the road. We pay 15 for the history check. Yes, they do a background check just like a person, but they do it on the bike. So uh, another 15 for that. Had to pay seventeen fifty the day I was in there for processing and filing and blah, 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 blah. now I have the paperwork I need, but I have to go to do an insurance company and get a surety bond for thirty five hundred dollars because it's one point who cares over the actual value of the bike. Uh, that's going to cost me another hundred dollars. Then I've got the printout from the state. And the young lady, Lacey, was absolutely wonderfully nice enough to fill it out and tell me what my fees were going to be. Then after the surety bond, I go back to the state and I'm going to be paying them another $228 and some odd pennies to get this thing done. Then Austin will destroy the title, create a new title. I'll, of course, I'll walk out with plates, but uh, then the title will be sent off. Like I said, Austin will destroy it. They'll generate a new one. I'll get the title. People, don't do this. There's a reason you got 30 days, man. There is a reason. I never thought I'd ever, 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 ever have to explain this. But apparently there's pinheads out there that just think, oh, I got the title, no big deal. Jeez, man. So from one screwed dude to all of you, don't do this. Register your shit. Cool. I'm going to get me a Coke.